So you hear stuff, and they'll be like, oh, I watched a pucker film on Netflix last night. It was this. And I'll search for it, and it says, cannot be found. So I'm like, well, what the fuck, you know? How come they're getting all these cool films, and we've got nothing? There's a handful of zombie movies that are on Netflix right now, and I can go through a small list. If anybody is poor like me, they can go to Netflix and watch some zombie movies. I waste a lot of time on that thing, dude. I don't, wa- I don't waste enough time. <laughs> you don't waste enough time. <laughs> no, I have 12 hours a day or night at work. That's the most time I use it, to be honest. But at the moment, I've been I've been reading stuff. But anyway, I will get to that at, 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 at another time. Let's see. Night Watch, The Walking Dead, Night of Living Dead, The Evil Dead, The Crazies. The Crazies is on Netflix right now? Oh, The Crazies is fantastic. Right, Night Watch we can get. Weren't you um, talking about the crazies with uh, Simon? Yeah, because I asked him a question. Oh, I fucking love the crazies. It is so. Is it the original or the remake? Uh, it tell it's the re- well, nineteen seventy three horror classic. Yeah, that's the oh, original. Oh, okay. I've, oh, okay. I've only ever seen it's, the remake. It's the remake of George A. Romero's nineteen seventy three. So Romero yeah. made a zombie movie. It's well, it's it's a it's a film. I've only seen the new one. And the the films it's about like an infection hits this little town, right? And it just it basically it doesn't really turn them into zombies. They're kind of zombies, but they it basically turns them fucking crazy. Hence the name. Um, and they just go around like killing people. But it's okay. such a good. It, I, I love it. It's so good. It really is worth the watch. I don't know what the original's like. Well, it so, says it says it's a remake of uh, Romero's 1973 horror classic. So are they talking about Night of the Living Dead? No. I don't, when, no. When was Night of the Living Dead made? No. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the original. We need Julian Snow on here for that. <laughs> she would know right off the top of her head. It's, I've got, uh, the original was, it's there, I can't fucking, uh, uh was it, not, when, 1968, the original? Possibly. And I think they read, they redid, they did, they made the remake of Night of the Living Dead at no, 1990, I think. I need but, the crazies. Uh, I bet the. Cra- I mean, the, yeah, I know the it. crazies is really, really good. I love the crazies. It's so fucking good. I've only seen it one time. Isn't there a scene in that movie where these, there's people playing baseball or something, and then some dude just walks across the field, and he's dragging a shovel or something, and he's just he's dragging a shotgun. He's dra- dragging a shotgun. Okay, well yeah, that happens he... almost every day here in America now. <laughs> it's what happens when you live in Texas, isn't it? Yeah, did you hear about the... There's some other shootings inside a school, like a church or something. Really? Yeah. Holy a- shit. Again. And it's never one or two people anymore. It's like a whole crap ton of people. Did you hear about the, the cops that are in New York? They're being investigated now because uh, this dude opened fire and killed somebody. And so the cops, they wounded like seven other people. Maybe somebody even died because they just opened fire on the crowd like it was, oh, you really? know, like they had no gun training or safety classes ever. Holy and shit. so they didn't just shoot the guy. They shot everybody around. I think they even shot each other. Jesus. No, I didn't. I've not heard that. I'll Crazy try and um, I, I do try and keep up to date with. I downloaded in the, um, the Huffington Post um, okay. newspaper on my phone, right. but I, I've set it to the American settings. So I get like a lot of the American news. So oh. I do. I try and read it as much as I can. How depressing, um, right? <laughs> yeah, but I try and I mean, to be honest, I get most of my information, as you know, from the Alex Jones show, right? And, um, and his website, which is quite cool. I, I watched well, that video um, that was on his website. I think it was about that was a copper. Um, it arrested a bloke. He had him pinned on the floor, and he'd sprayed him with mace spray. And this yeah. bloke was like, he looked a bit like B. Um, and this bloke was like shouting out to him, like, you know, what the fuck have I done wrong? Why are you arresting me? Uh, right. Basically, the end of it, it turns out to be about fucking eight or nine coppers there. And this copper Jeez. just kicks him as hard as he can in the throat for no apparent reason. Yeah. He's they down, do not mess around anymore, dude. They don't. Fuck me, yeah. He, he was going like, why the fuck are you arresting me? And he's, this bloke, I'm sure this copper just went like, uh, like shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he just, just, kicked, just kicked him in the throat. Yeah. This poor bloke starts like start throwing up. Where he Dude, did they so do hard. not play around fuck anymore. Me. I couldn't believe it. It was a whoa. I was like, My, yeah, fuck moving to the States. 
my brother is in uh, in the military now, and he's uh, well trained in martial arts. And so they had to do this. Uh, they had to do this exercise to where they get sprayed in the eyeballs with uh, with mace, a special type of mace. It's not just regular mace. Really? It's like holy crap mace. And so he said that when they squirted in his eyes, they held his eyeball open, they squirted into his eye, and well, both eyes, and then his face just started burning like hell fire. And uh, like a phoenix rose around his face, dude, and all these people <laughs> surrounded like six or eight people surrounded him and started beating his ass. And so he had to start fighting off all these dudes while his face was on fire. And he said Fuck the only yeah, way yeah. to get it to stop burning is to try to hold your eyes open just long enough to get a a knuckle sandwich right in your face, man. It's just, it, I couldn't believe what he was telling me. But he said that he passed it and, you know, moved on up the ranks and just brew. He's, three days later, his eyes are still hurting. Why? So. <laughs> Why? That's, that's, you say that, it reminded me of him. Me and my friends bought this, this chili sauce. It was there and it's made for, it, it was the world's hottest chili uh, called the ghost chili. Okay. Um, I can't remember what its proper name is, but I think they've cross someone in England's cross breeded these two chilies, and now wow. that's the hottest one. But this year, this ghost <laughs> chili, they made a, a sauce called Insanity Sauce, the ghost chili edition, and on the back it actually comes with warnings, and it says like you know do not do not eat if you've got heart problems, do not eat if you're pregnant, and then just a bit further down it says this sauce can be used as an industrial cleaner. Holy crap! Yeah, and we had a look on the website about it, and apparently this chili stuff is the stuff they use in mace spray. To like in Africa, they use it to detract like animals and elephants and stuff like that. They throw these pepper sprays at them, and that's got this this chili in it. Fuck me! And, oh, I'll tell you what, it floored me. I had a little bit on my little finger. I put it in my mouth. I was on the floor crying for about two days. <laughs> that's <laughs> straight up. True Mexico sauce, man. I got some people at my job that come in and they bring some stuff, dude. I've had habanero sauce. Have you ever had that? Ooh, it's like a habanero uh, pepper. No, I haven't. Dude, that stuff set me on fire. Like really? I, my eyes were watering <laughs> and stuff, and, and and um, that wasn't even the hot one. They 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 <laughs> asked me to eat a hot one. It was about the size of like a little teeny tiny rolled up booger. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to eat. I couldn't even talk because my mouth was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> they warned me. They're like, don't go to the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> we we have a rule down here. If we eat hot sauce, we always say put a bog roll in the freezer overnight. That's what L- we say. What is, a, what is a bog roll? A toilet roll. A toilet roll. Yeah, what you wipe your ass with. <laughs> put it in the freezer so it gets cold. That's what wow, we always say. Man, that's a really good I, idea. I, I tell you what, I've, I've still got to send your present out because I've got to wait till I get paid because I haven't got any money because I'm poor. Um, That's but fine. I will, Don't even worry I will, about I will, it. I will, I will, I will include. I'll go and buy some insanity sauce, ghost chili edition, and I will send it out to you. And you want you me to eat it on it the show? Give that to your friends, Bun? You want me to eat it on the show and see what I think? Yeah, that's a good show. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'll see what I can take. I'm white, and then I'll, and then what I can do is I'll, I'll email B. And he can get his payback and listen to you dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo-wee. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, I'll, I'll send man, it out to you. Yeah, I've got it. It's sat right in front of me. I just haven't had the money or the time to go and post it yet, which is a bit of a pain. But I'm hoping you'll like it. I, I love it. I want to keep it for myself. But I think you'll you love it. Well, speaking of hot things, man, I want you to tell me all about this band, Faceless Dolls, that you played in last week's show. Because the music that you sent to me, I played it, immediately fell in love with it, and they need to be heard by everybody. So I'm going to send some of their music out to the local stations, like public radio, and then uh, like higher in, like the buzz and stuff like that around town. I'll appreciate that. Because, man, that is good, good band. I don't don't really know much about them. Um, They're they're all, I know, like the majority, I know the singer, I know the drummer. and I know that, like the guitarist and the bassist, I know I know them as people. But I, it's the first time a couple of weeks ago that I'd actually been to see him. Um, and my mate, the singer Phil, who I spoke to and asked if we could use his music, and he was like, "Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it." Um, he was like, he always used to email me and say, "Come down and watch my band. Come down and watch my band." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." And I'd never go. And he said, "Come down and watch my band. Come down, yeah, whatever." And he, he emailed one day and said, "Look, we're playing at the Royal Oak, which is the pub I use." 
He said, uh, uh-huh. we're playing out the back. He said, come down and watch. He said, you know, tickets are only a couple of quid. Go buy them. So I thought, well, I'll do fancy beer. So I went, all right. And I went and bought a ticket. And, yeah, went and watched them. And I sat um, outside for, like, the whole gig. And I just wanted to watch them. And I watched them and buggered off home. But they were phenomenal. They were so, so good. But like I said last week, they come out to... What what really hooked me on them was I was stood outside. And I could hear that, that like, theme from 28 Days Later. Yeah. playing in the background and I thought wow what the fuck hell is this and I turned around and realised they were like they was they'd started so I fucking run in and watched them and yeah I just I was stood there listening to all their stuff and that really got me going I really like you know I really liked it so I, I just went straight to iTunes search Faceless Dolls because I knew they had like an EP out and uh, yeah downloaded their six song EP man and it's I, I wonderful and, they remind yeah. me of like a, a heavy a heavier version of Modest Mouse, you know, maybe more refined, a little, a little better, but just a heavier version of Modest Mouse. You ever listen to them? Um, I haven't listened to them. I, I may have heard a song or two of theirs. I, I recognise the name. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they but... they've got like a nice twang inside the the soft parts, but then they bust into a really heavy uh, grunge yeah. throwdown sound, and I love it, dude. Yeah, they're really, really good. But yeah, they they definitely deserve like all the credit they get and. I'll, um, I'm definitely going to go to one of their gigs. Well, I'll, I'll try and go to their gigs as much as I can because they're fantastic. But, yeah. yeah, they definitely, if you want to buy the album, the album's on iTunes. Uh, I'm not sure where else you can get it. But, yeah, they're called The the Faceless Dolls. And their album is called... Um, oh, bollocks, I can't remember the name of their album's called. I'm looking it up right uh, now. So, so, something Makes the Wolf go, Grow Stronger. Women? I can't remember what... Nope, can't be no, that. No, weren't women. <laughs> uh, it, it's some, something. It's all right, I'm just opening we'll up other chains. We'll find yeah, it. Yeah, it it's something like that. Something. If you just search for the Faceless Dolls anyway, and you'll, yeah. um, you'll find the album. And uh, Fear Makes the Wolf go strong, Grow Stronger. That's what it's oh, called. Oh, okay, that's right. Fear Makes the Wolf Grow Stronger, yeah. And they've got yeah, six songs. Uh, first one, Red Circle, White Circle, is the song uh, we played last week. Which, which one I of my love. favorites? Is, is that yeah. the top? Is that the top selling song? Is like the is that the theme of the album? I don't know. I just I like. I think the reason I liked it is because they come out to that theme from Twenty Eight Days Later and run it into Red Circle, White Circle, right? And it's because the, the, I think the backing sound sounds a bit similar to that theme from uh, Twenty Eight Days Later. But yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, and they've, they've got another song called Scissor Paper Stone. Uh, she takes his face, power of suggestion, avalanche, and forever, ever. Um, but yeah, it, it costs. I think it costs about five five pounds, five British pounds. I don't know what that is. It's probably about seven dollars, maybe eight dollars. Um, but it's well worth it. And I was speaking to him the other day, and he was talking about they how he said they want to make it like a proper album, like a ten, twelve song album. So hopefully that'll be quite good when that comes out as well. Yeah, but, yeah. Love, I'm glad you I liked love, him. I'm glad you liked yeah. him. Very that good. Appreciate. And we should play uh, one or two of their songs in this episode. Yeah, definitely. I'm up for that. So well, maybe we can use one of their songs to run in. Maybe I'll play the next one on the list. I'll okay. play the next. Um, we'll just run it into uh, the interview you've got afterwards. Okay, which is a freaking blast, dude. And I'm telling you yeah. right now, be warned, be cautioned, because, man... This thing will make the hair stick up on the back of your neck and your arms. There's some audio in here that he sent me. Scott from the Houston uh, Paranormal Research Team. Yeah. Dude, it's so freaking scary. I've heard... Um, I, I did listen to the audio that he'd sent you. I did have a sneak peek. Um, and it did... It, it sent chills down my spine. It was yes. freaky as fuck, man. Can you imagine being... I can't being... wait to hear his stories about them. The, the, the thing is, is that... For most of these EVPs, it, it, it's like electro vibration something. I, I can't uh, remember what he says. Uh, called. And, uh, EVP stands EVP. for ele- electronic voice phenomenon, which is okay. where they it's it sounds like in the background that the human ear can't hear, but electronic equipment will pick it up. So, like when you watch stuff like Ghost Hunter and Taps and things like that, when when they when they're talking, they'll always have a tape recorder, wouldn't they? And right. they'll say, like, you know, say something, whatever, and then they'll play it back, and what they didn't hear, they'll go through the tape, and you might hear, like, a little girl whisper, like, hello, Ooh, or something man. like that. But you, your ear won't pick it up, but chills. the tape will pick it up. So, yeah, that's... 
I apologise if that's all wrong, but it, it should be pretty right. <laughs> it sounds so. about right. And see, the, the the good thing about EVP is since I won't be able to hear it while I'm in